So let's see the video in which I am going to take up the tables of 21 to 25. Right. So the first number is 21. Now when I talk about 21, it's a very, very, very easy pattern which you can follow. Here, 21 and 210, that's pretty obvious, right? 21 times 1 is 21 and 21 times 10 is 210. So what do you write in between? So from 1, if you start with natural numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So you have a 10 already here, right? Now, what happens to this 2? Just write the even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and the last one is obvious 210. So now you can check 21, 42, 63, 84. You need to just tease the students, skip counting and they will write 2, 4, 6, 8 by themselves. The first and the last one being obvious. So very, very easy pattern, right? And likewise, if you start observing numbers carefully, you will have patterns in all tables. So I'm going to show you the 22 pattern now. So if you see the pattern of 22, so obviously I have to start with a 22 and then I will go up to 220, right? Now what do you do in between then? From 2, start writing the even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, don't write 10, write a 0, the unit digit only and then repeat 2, 4, 6, 8 and then we have a 0 already here. Now this is the pattern in the unit digit and what happens with the tens digit? Start writing the uh, even numbers again but after 4 we will change the pattern. So 2, 4, 6, 8. Now skip by 2. 9 and 10 are to be deleted. Start with 11 and then write it. it since this is an odd number we will write the odd numbers. 13, 15 and then 17 so 176 and finally 19 so 198 see 4 with the even numbers and starting from 11 we have all the odd numbers and the last one is pretty obvious there 220 now this is the pattern in table of 12 this is the reason you know uh, we put so much of pressure on the students uh, to recite the tables uh, and it's always difficult you know even if you are a 10th class student and somebody asks you to re recite the table of 26 or maybe 17 it's, it's going to be difficult so how do you we expect a kid uh, studying in maybe um, third class or second class to recite all those for you you have to make the task easier for the child and that's what is the intention of this video so let's take 23. So 23 and the last one is going to be 230 that is obvious. You always start with the first one and the last one so that you can follow the pattern which is in between. Now what do I do here see? I will write the 3 times table okay. 3, 6, 9, 12 and then 15, then 18, then 21, then 24 and then 27 and then 30 is already there. So what will I do now is I will just get rid of these tens digits. I don't want the tens digit. I want only the unit digits which I have already written here. So this is the first thing. After that group them in threes. Threes, three here and three here. Okay. Now start writing the even numbers. Two, 4, 6. Then skip count by 2. 6 becomes 7, 8, 9. And now again start writing the odd numbers here. 9, 11, 13. Then skip count by 2. 13 means 14, 15 skip 16. And then write the even numbers. 18 and 20. And that's it. 230 is already there. You have the table of 23. Oh, amazing pattern, right? And you can actually observe the pattern in subsequent tables also. Let's take 24. So if I start with 24 and I go up to 240, 
Now, what is the pattern here? So, I will uh, start writing the uh, 24 times uh, table by writing the table of 2 and table of 4. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and then 20 and then 24, right? Uh, so, in, in case of this, this has to be 22, right? So, I am writing 240 directly because this will be obtained automatically. So, I went only up to 20. Now, this 20 will relate to 240 directly. Now, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, right? Now watch. In case of two digits, like 2 and 4, this is 24, 4 and 8, it is 48. But in case of three digits, just add these two. So you get 7 and a 2. Add these two, you get 9 and a 6. Add these two, you get 10 plus 2, 12 and a 0. Add these two, you get 12 plus 2, 14 and a 4. Add these two, 14 plus 2, 16 and a 8. 16 plus 3, 19 and a 2. 18 plus 3, 21 and a 6. And 20 plus 4 is 24 and a 0, 240. That will come in the last. Actually, the rule which I told you here it is a general rule for writing the tables of two digit numbers. So, if you write the table of the first digit and the second digit and add like this, retain the unit digit in the answer, you are going to write the table of any two digit number. So, 24 follows a general rule and this general rule can actually be generalized to any number. If you want to write the table of 67 or 83, you can try doing the same method, you will get the correct answer. Finally, we have the table of 25. Now, if this is yet another amazing pattern, you know, 25. So, I have to go up to 250. The unit digit of 25 times table follows only two digits. 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0 and 5, 0. Right? That, that's easy, right? For the first digit, we have to take a gap of 3 and 2 alternatively 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 3 15 15 plus 2 17 17 plus 3 20 20 plus 2 22 and 22 plus 3 25 see gap of 3 and 2 and the unit digit fluctuates between 5 and 0 now after this, if you want to learn more tables and more patterns, you can follow this method. I'll show you only one of them so that you can generalize it now and feel comfortable with any table. Okay. So suppose let's make some space here. Here. Yeah. So we have a number like I'll take a difficult number. Okay. Let's take 47. 47 times table is a difficult task, but I know four times table. Four. 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40, right? 7 times table, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63 and 70. Now start doing the same thing which I told you in 24 times table. 47, 8 plus 1 is 9, so 94. 12 plus 2 is 14, so 141. 16 plus 2 is 18, so 188. 20 plus 3 is 23, so 235. 24 plus 4 is 28, so 282. 28 plus 4 is 32, so 329. 32 plus 5 is 37, so 6. And 36 plus 6 is 42, followed by the 3. And then 40 plus 7 is 47 followed by a 0. Here you have the 47 times table. Students are going to enjoy these methods, you know. And 
as a teacher it is our duty as an educator it is our duty to make things simpler for the child and not difficult for the child expect if you have given the child the best don't just allow the child to cram up the things and when you uh, ask dodging tables like what is 17 times 7 students are going to fumble and even uh, the 14 15 year old students we are going to fumble in that so let's not expect students to be machines and let's give them the um, smartest of the tricks which are available to us so that they can learn smartly and intelligently friends this was the video on learning with tricks the through which you can write the tables of 21 to 25 some amazing patterns and the general rule of 24 which can be applied to write any table of two digits so share this video if you like it and all the best for practicing all the tables up to 99